Welcome back, collectors. Do you remember when show and tell was your favorite part of the day? We do, and we're here to restore some of that magic. So today we brought in our top five favorite collectibles. collectibles. So, Brad, I'm going to throw it over to you. You can go first. Okay. Well, first off, I brought in Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. The initial release of this was March 9th, 1996, I believe. So it's going back a little ways. Oh, that game is fantastic. If you it, haven't played this, go run out, go get it. Go get it, go find it, emulate it, do whatever you need to do to get a taste of it. This game here is, it, it's my gem. Your gem. This is my gem. So they mix both worlds together, and this is what introduced me into uh, RPGs with the love of Mario. And that's mine. That's yours. My number one is a hockey card. Oh, nice. Wayne Gretzky. This is Upper Deck. This is uh, from 2015 2016 season. They're Lime Black Diamond. Now, what makes this kind of important and valuable and part of my collection is that these little diamonds, the real diamonds, only at a 99. Do you remember hockey cards back in the day? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you buy them, they're, they're worthless now because they're just so mass-produced. There's only 99 of these out there, and 99 happens to be his jersey number. I have number 48 at 99. Okay, my second piece, Super Nintendo Entertainment System. This baby here was released November 21st of 1990. It feels like yesterday, it does. but it's today and it's 2019. This is my favorite all-time console. Um, I come from Atari to NES, to SNES, but this to me is what put gaming on the map, or mm -hmm. Nintendo on the map, I guess rather. Graphics were a huge improvement from um, NES, NES being 8-bit. Yes, 8-bit. And I believe this would was double, 16-bit. Countless hours of playtime with family and friends, and it's just a memory I hold dearly. I really like that Super Nintendo, what a good choice. Thank you. My number two is my Wonder Bread He-Man. He is the only He-Man that is full of controversy. Nobody really knows his origin. They don't know if he is Wonder Bread. Some people call him Savage. I could do an entire video just on him. I'm sure you could. So much information. Like he first appeared on eBay in the early 90s. But what I'll do is I'll link a video down below and you guys can just kind of check it out. So much to cover with him and I don't think we have enough time. I think he's awesome and we don't. <laughs> Well, my third pick is something you're going to really like. Oh. <laughs> I brought in Jason with yes. the pickaxe. This guy here I had picked up at uh, Sunrise Records before it closed in the mall in a clearance bin. Oh, he is wicked. For, believe it or not, $6. Good price. This guy here, I still got mint. He still has the tape on his hand to hold his pickaxe. He is what got me back into collecting again, and it's been an on and off thing for me, and I'm sure you over the years. Mm -hmm. You collect, you stop, you collect, you stop. So this kind of scratched the itch, yeah. I guess, basically, and this would be my third oh, and I, I don't have him. I need him. And, and he, you know, he, he is my favorite Jason. <laughs> <laughs> this is a collectible. <laughs> this is nice. This is, if people don't quite recognize this, this is the Lament configuration, the box from Hellraiser. We'll tear your soul apart. Ow. This is a vinyl record set. I have six vinyl records here. I can hold for you. Yeah, thank you. Different art from each. Now, I've never listened to this, so I don't know if the record is noisy. For non-vinyl collector, noise is the popping and all that you tend to get with vinyl. But they, they have uh, complete liner sleeves. Little tiny seven inch discs. This was a limited edition. There's only 1,000 of these out there. And I don't know if you can see on camera here. I'm gonna put these down. They actually messed up the design of the configuration and they sent me a replacement box with a new design. I never opened this, but that's number three. That's awesome. That is wicked cool. So my fourth, I had brought in the Twisted Land of Oz. Well, I didn't bring all of them because there's so many pieces. There's actually seven in the set, eight if you include the flying monkeys, which I think they were an additional thing. So I brought a few here to showcase. Those are really cool. These here are by far my favorite um, set, I guess you want to call it, out of my collection. Uh, reason being, I uh, loved the Wizard of Oz. 
So, liking horror and The Wizard of Oz, what better to have a darker twist on a set of action <laughs> they figures? Do. They do. They work well together. There's actually a variant of Dorothy. This one was banned. The other one, she's more clothed with a black cape. Really There's like the Lion Man. Oh, wow. Like, the detail on this uh, probably doesn't do justice no. on the video, but the, the it, it's just great. This is my grail. Mm. This probably holds the most value of the collection. I've seen this whole set go anywhere up to $800. Holy cow. For a complete mint in box. Mine's probably on the lower end. It's got some yellowing on the plastic, um, but it's still my favorite. Mm. My favorite piece. I don't really hold money value mm. to my collection. And for me, is like pieces like this that actually made me hunt yes. to finish this set to know what it's really like to be a collector as opposed to going in to a store, grabbing something out of a bin, you know, and, and going home. You I know? think collectors can all agree on that. Sometimes it's the hunt that gets you. It's the hunt, and, and, and this set here was the very first set that I actually had to work for mm -hmm. to get. I dare the Wicked Witch to try to get Toto. <laughs> I'd like to see the Wicked Witch <laughs> remade. That'd be cool. Number four, coming close to the end. Coming close. I love that you mentioned that some some of the, the appeal to the collecting is, is the hunt trying to hunt down the the best piece your favorite piece now i love friday the 13th movies i love yes, that jason do. and yes, i need that for my collection i need that that might make go home with me today if you, <laughs> if you happen to leave for a little bit <laughs> Yoink! But what i brought in is uh it, it's a collection i guess here's a mask friday the 13th now up here is signature from ari lehman now ari lehman he never wore the mask. He was the very first Jason, a little boy that popped up and dumped Alice out of the canoe. Oh, okay, yeah. So this here is a one of one. Right here, that's, that's his finger smearing down. He painted this and signed it. This is the only one on Earth. Now, they have similar ones, but only on one on Earth with that paint. So that's number one. And I have, of course, I have all the authenticities. <laughs> it looks good. Number two of this collection, and my prize... Kane Hodder is the definitive Jason. Yes, he is. And I have the definitive Jason weapon. The machete. Nice. Autographed by Kane nice. Hodder. It is sharp as hell. <laughs> wow. Sharp AF. Yes. And it's uh, 500 pieces. This one happens to be 439. Yeah, be careful, this please. very nice. And I have the... Oh, you can see it gleaming. It's authenticity it's for that. Wow, this is cool. Now there's been, uh, oh, let's see here. There's There's been a lot of Jasons, and I'm trying to track down something from each Jason. I'd love to have a mask signed from each Jason. Like, Ari, Ari never had a mask, but if he could sign. It's that's part of the movie. He enough. was Jason, so. This one is Derek Mears. Derek Mears was the Jason in the reboot. Oh, so, okay. And a little axe, you know, just a little hatchet. This one is 221 out of 300. Now I got all these from the same company, the the, uh, the Bandbox. Bandbox. Yeah. They do monthly collection, and these ones just happen to be special editions. Kind of like a Loot Crate, I'm guessing. Just like Loot yeah. Crate, Nerd Block, whatever you're familiar with. Now you won't get this every time. These ones are the high end tier. Uh, exclusive yeah. type deals, yes. And of course, I'm trying to track down each Jason, and some Jasons are no longer with us, like Steve Dash. We lost in December, and that, that's pretty much it. I love this stuff. This is gorgeous. So number five, James. Elf. This here is my all-time favorite. This is one of the original toys from my childhood that both my parents had bought me. Lots of time watching uh, Elf with the family. One of my favorite shows growing up. I hold this piece dearly and I will never let this go. <laughs> this this is my thing. It might not be valued to too many people, but well, like I say, it's one of my originals from childhood and I love Elf and something enduring and just cute. Something you could hold when you were a kid and hang out with and essentially that you've seen on TV. Yeah. It was like the having first, the real deal. First best friend. This the, is uh, it. Gordon Shumway. Like, hey. Watch out for cats. Yes. yes. <laughs> I like it. He's my grail. Here's my number five. Now this, I don't really care too much about the movie. Oh. Like it's just a steel book. Uh, the point is there's only 10,000 of these out. This is what I got. That's wow. Night of the Demons, Angela doll. Uh, like like it says here, 
Angela's having a party. And Jason and Freddy are too scared to attend. Exactly. Oh, this, these are great. This is uh, from Scream Factory. Limited edition, exclusive. NECA, NECA Toys created the doll. Obscure 80s horror film. They made three of these. And I, I even believe they made a reboot. I think they did. Yeah, yeah I think you're right. This is nice. So, uh, some that most toys I take out, but she she's going to stay in the box. And no same with the DVD or Blu-ray, I think it is. Keep them together. It's going to stay together. Like, I don't really... I don't really care about that. This is awesome. <laughs> yes, that now, is awesome. like you said, she's not my top favorite. They, I didn't have any uh, specific order. She is my most current favorite because I just re uh, recently picked her up. I love it. That's, that's, a, <laughs> that's a nice piece. And it's all all cloth clothing and all that. The eight inch dolls. Naked. Awesome. You know, that felt like a lot like fifth grade. Fifth it grade did. is when I did the show and tells. You know what else we did in the fifth grade? Uh, science <laughs> fair. Science fair. And uh, you know what? We're going to make a volcano. So why don't you go get your stuff and we'll get our stuff and we'll build it together. Follow us. Follow us. All right. So the uh, materials that you're going to need, you're going to need two bottles. You don't have to use these milk quartz. Some scissors, a uh, some kind of measuring spoon, preferably a teaspoon or a tablespoon. I'm going to use a measuring cup. Tape. Bristol board or cardboard paper, whatever to your liking, I guess. Vinegar, baking soda, dish soap. Some type of food coloring or dye. We're, use, we're gonna try crystal light because we couldn't find food coloring. So. Yeah, find food, what's up with that? I sold out. I went to Walmart. Walmart, <laughs> step up your game. Yeah, exactly. And a funnel. So, first thing we do is get the first bottle going. And Brian, can you... Uh, I can get this. Yeah, uh, the cone. Please. We're gonna make a Bristol board into a cone shape, mimic a volcano <laughs> base, mimic a volcano, I guess, yeah. as best as we can here. It might take a little bit more tape here, but we'll get to it. So, as a little disclaimer, if you're not old enough to do this, if you're not over 13, I would say get a parent involved. Definitely ask your parents. It's a it's gonna be messy. Good practice. It's gonna be messy, and you gotta use their stuff. Scissors can be sharp. I had to ask my parents. Yeah, so. I wasn't. <laughs> I might cut myself. Right? I'm old enough. I get to use it by myself. We're gonna cone this guy. Oh, that looks pretty good. Well, the bottle sticks out a little bit, but you get the idea. Okay, in part two, grab your second bottle and your measuring cup and your vinegar. So I'm gonna add roughly a cup and a quarter of the vinegar. Of the vinegar, right to this mix. Ooh, that is powerful stuff. <laughs> Hey, there's there's a cup and a quarter there. Oh, <laughs> and uh, you know while we're while we're here, we might as well add the uh, your dye or in our case our our drink powder. Okay, step three. You can do step three. Okay, step three. How many was it? Uh, it is roughly a tablespoon. Tablespoon into into the vinegar. Mix. Into the vinegar mix. Hopefully this doesn't react with the. I shouldn't. Is that good? That's plenty. That should be good. Science. Science. Bill Nye. Bill Nye. Bill Nye, not Brian guy. <laughs> so the next one is baking soda. Now, from the walkthrough that we're using, he used three tea, uh, teaspoons. teaspoons. Yeah, we'll use. And we'll add that right to this bottle. Here. That's one. Yeah, use more. heaping. I'm going to use heaping. More soda. More explosions. <laughs> Should we go with one more? Yeah, why not? This is science. <laughs> One more, because it's a little bit of a bigger bottle. Contrary to popular belief, this is legitimate science. Like, we are doctors in science. That's right. I don't we know own what, this. We, we own this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's our next step? Our next step is to add the vinegar to this. A little secret. I want to see if Superman can survive. Oh, yes. Because Yellowstone could erupt any given moment. There could be erupting is. right now. There he is. There he is. Yeah, we wouldn't even know. No, and Superman needs to say And we're here making volcanoes. Yeah. <laughs> Science. Science. <laughs> Are you ready? Ready. Uh -huh. It's halfway there. Here we go. Yes! Science! <laughs> Science! We did it! Oh my god. And Superman's safe. Yeah, it, it didn't erupt on that side. Uh, it didn't really. There he is. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Superman. Lava, lava, lava. 
I was gonna come with a tray. <laughs> oh, right there. <laughs> with the sides. <laughs> oh, that was cool. That was cool. <laughs> Science. Science, sir. Our supplies. Superman oh, made it. <laughs> Superman made it. Look, and it's like, oh, it's still going. It's still going. It is yeah. still going. It's like Ugh. crystal light vinegar. <laughs> it's got a funky smell. And super oh, oh, a big bubble. Well, that turned out all right. That turned out not like bad. It. Not bad at all. Not bad for uh, with no adult supervision. Oh god. It, you know what? I think it's racist time. That bell's got to be ringing any minute now. I think I agree with you.